Mrs. Evans has recently been discharged from hospital following a laparotomy for small bowel resection. Her discharge summary shows that she was given a variety of opioids in hospital and eventually discharged on morphine. She has no significant past medical history and no known allergies. So, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad. And um, how was the operation? The operation was, was fine, um, but it was the pain afterwards. Oh, really? Yes, they gave me an epidural, but then I came up in a rash. Good morning, Mrs. Evans. How are you feeling today? Fine, thank you. Are you having any pain? No, not even when I go to the toilet. Oh, that's excellent. The epidural must be doing well for your pain. But I do see that you're scratching quite a bit. What I think, let's see, why don't we add some antihistamine in and that will help relieve the itching. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back in a while and see how you're getting on with that. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. How are you doing now that you have the antihistamine tablet? Well, the pain's gone, but the itching is really getting bad and I'm getting very, very fed up mm. with it. Well, that's no good. Why don't we look at changing the bag mm -hmm. and we'll take out the fentanyl and just leave the local anaesthetic. Right. It'd be a real shame if we didn't actually use the epidural now that it's working for your pain so well. Okay. Okay, we'll see. Thank you. One potential side effect of opioid analgesia is an itchy rash due to histamine release. However, this is not necessarily an allergic reaction. True allergic reactions to opioid analgesia are rare. Most patients continue on their regular opioids with antihistamines such as chlorophenamine to control the side effects. However, if this is ineffective, then we must consider changing the analgesia. I see, and what happened after the epidural? Well, they gave me tramadol. And how did that work? Well, it was all right for the pain, but it made me so sick. How are you doing today, Mrs. Evans? Oh, not very good. I feel, I feel so, so pain, so much pain. You look like you're in a lot of pain. I understand you weren't able to take your tramadol at noon. Why was that? Oh, I, they were making me, making me feel so sick all the time. It was awful. I see that you've also received two shots of anti-sickness, and despite that, you weren't able to take the um, the tramadol. Yeah. Okay, well that's no good. So why don't we try to get you pain free, give you a little bit of morphine and see how that does for you. That sounds good, thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Another side effect is nausea and vomiting. In fact, some patients will refuse pain relief out of fear of being sick. Therefore, we should always prescribe antiemetics as required. In fact, some patients may need regular or multiple antimatics prescribed, such as cyclozine or ondansetron. After a few days of regular opioid use, nausea should subside. And I see that you were discharged with morphine tablets. Have your bowels been moving okay? I'm, I'm managing, yes. Okay, and have you been taking the laxatives? Uh, twice a day. Okay. Yep. And I see that they also had to give you a suppository whilst in hospital, so I think we should probably continue with those laxatives. OK, fine, thank you. Constipation can be truly debilitating, causing pain, nausea and bloating. Constipation due to opioids can be prevented by using laxatives, as long as there are no contraindications. The combination of a stimulant laxative such as Senna and a stool softener such as Lactulose is most effective when prescribed regularly. In long-term opioid use, Constipation is the most common side effect to monitor. There's no evidence that dose reduction in opioid use helps prevent or treat constipation. And did you have any other problems with the morphine? Have you had any problems passing water? Uh, sometimes I feel as though I have to force myself to go. Oh, right. 
One of the less common side effects to be aware of is that of urinary retention. Unfortunately, there's no specific medication to treat this. In severe cases, urinary catheterization may be used, but often opioid rotation is effective. Well, it seems like you do still need the strong painkillers, mm -hmm. and being able to move around does help prevent other complications from the operation. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe we should try something called oxycodone. It's in the same family as morphine, and it's just as strong, but it's slightly different. And does it have the same side effects? Well, everybody reacts a little bit differently, so we'll have to try it and see. OK, let's try it. The doctors and nurses have worked so hard to cure me of my pain that sometimes I feel so ungrateful. The side effects, though, are sometimes worse than the pain itself. And don't forget to eat lots of fibre and keep well hydrated. OK, thank you. I do that already, but thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, um, if you make an appointment with reception to see me later on in the week, then I'll check up on how things are going. OK, lovely. Many thanks. Thank you. If I hadn't have been asked, I wouldn't have known that my problems were caused because of the medication I was on. Um, but now I know that the whole treatment was truly a team effort. Opioid analgesics may have side effects which can affect multiple organ systems. Patients should be reviewed regularly with regards to side effects. Additional drugs may be needed to treat side effects such as antiemetics and laxatives. An opioid rotation may be necessary if side effects persist. Good pain management will also help to avoid complications such as chest infections, DVTs, constipation and urinary retention.